Hi guys, so some of you might remember from my uni goals video last year that one of my goals was to join my university's modelled United Nations Society and that's something I actually did and recently in March I went on my first ever Model UN conference. For those of you who haven't heard of Model UN before, this is a quick summary. You obviously have the United Nations which is this intergovernment organisation and then you essentially to pretend to be the United Nations. It does sound quite strange when you put it like that, which it is a fairly strange thing to do, but it's also a lot of fun. I was lucky in a sense that the first conference I went to was Worldman, World Mod UN, because I think it's the biggest one, there are nearly 2,000 delegates, and it was held in Brussels, I got to travel, and it was just a really great, intense, but great experience. My university in Britain was actually representing Canada and I was in UNESCO which stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation. So if you've ever heard of the World Heritage Site, they're the people behind those. Before I even went to the conference I had to write a position paper. You're given this pack of the topic that you might be covering and then you basically have to research it and write about the position of the country that you're representing. The first debate we had was which topic we should devote our time to. What happened was that well, it was mainly the developed countries arguing that we should um, spend time on STEM education and the less developed countries saying that we should do global entrepreneurship. We took a vote and we ended up spending six three hour sessions discussing and trying to come up with a re resolution paper for the topic of global entrepreneurship. Given that it was my first conference, I actually felt quite overwhelmed a lot of the time. For example, the committee I was in had quite a few unmoderated caucuses and that's essentially where the different delegates can mingle amongst each other and talk about what their country wants. The pace of conversation was really fast. I felt like you couldn't miss a beat between one person finishing talking and then another person starting. So I think next time I'm definitely going to have to just push myself to be a lot more assertive, hopefully without being aggressive. When you go away to a Model UN conference, it isn't all debate, another big part is the socials. You had a different one every night with different themes, all comic book heroes and that was a lot of fun. My favourite was Global Village where you essentially had stalls from each different country and they were just handing out mainly food from that was particular to their country and it was fun and it it's the whole idea of we are in a globalized world now is something that has been repeated a lot but it is true that it is now so much easier to interact with people from different countries and it does sound cheesy but it was great to see everyone like getting along and talking about where they come came from and to be reminded that you live in one country in the world and that's the norm for you but for other people their norm is something completely different. It was definitely a very exciting experience especially the opening ceremony where everyone was together and you had lots of people shouting out the names of their countries and just the atmosphere of being around a lot of people and you know you're all participating in the same thing. Another element that I really enjoyed was bonding with the people from my university on the trip. A lot of them, I didn't really know them before the conference, but obviously we were away for six nights and we were spending a lot of time together. So there was just a sense of camaraderies, camaraderie rather. Unfortunately, I was so busy that I didn't get to film that much footage, but here are just a few clips that I did manage to get. <laughs> 